as you already know, it is a cute gap in front of the camera these days. Best smart now, me himself. And I'm back with another video, back with a vlog, back with an update. I'm back in general. Alright, so I'm in Guyana right now. I'm stuck in Guyana, kind of sort of. It's been a while since I've actually did a vlog, and I've been away for pretty much a year and change, or probably just a year. But I'm here, I'm alive. Those of you who follow me on other platforms know that I'm alive and I'm still running, I'm still doing my thing, still kicking, but I haven't been vlogging. Alright, so let me give y'all a whole breakdown of whatever. So, reason I haven't really been vlogging is I've been busy, one, and you know my thing is always getting the vlogs out on time. I've been busy with work and business. I've been traveling a lot. I got an artist I'm managing. I'm building family leads. I've just been doing me and being depressed, being happy, you know, going through life as a regular young man would, I would guess. So, yeah, I've just been going through life. The purpose for actually vlogging in the first place is so that I could document my life and my experience and everything and pass it on to my children and my friends and everybody could learn from each other. This is the reason I actually document stuff. And I've been documenting, just not enough, and I've, I haven't been putting it out. So, I'm been, I've been wanting to get back on that track for a long ass time. Don't mind the hair, this is always a problem, it's still me. My hair is super long by the way. It reaches the back. Um, that's good. This is always a problem, I gotta get it washed and sorted out. But yeah, I've been documenting and that's the reason for me to document so I could pass down my knowledge and my experience and you know how I grow and how I live and all that to my kids and to my friend kids and you know nephews and nieces and so on. Yeah, one hand wash the other. This is a community we have here. And we're gonna make sure everybody within the community is at a standard, living comfortable and so forth. So yeah, I've been doing my thing. I've been busy. I've been, you know, living life and doing as much as I can in 24 hours. You feel me? Those are all my reasons for not vlogging. And some people might say whatever, whatever, but I'm just only one person. I could only do so much. So let me give you all an update. Ezekiel is nice, doing fine, healthy, breathing, almost two years in a couple months. So, he's super dope, happy child. I'm glad, I'm proud as a dad. His mom is proud as a mom. Coconut just fall down. Only guy know. But yeah, we're doing our parenting thing, you feel me? Taking it as it comes, still learning. Fortunately enough, he have good parents and good grandparents and uncles and aunties and all that around him so he's gonna be raised in a happy household and in a strong household at the end of the day as it is now we're not together you guys remember Nikki from the channel and the previous videos we're not together anymore but we're living and we're co-parenting and we're doing our thing um, I'm not gonna get too much into it cuz it's a whole lot let's just say shit didn't work out at the end and but we're good that's the most important part we're good Ezekiel is good everything is good you feel me I did move on and there's an ex Nikki in the picture I gotta think for the Nikki's I guess you know so yeah there's another Nikki around and you guys are gonna see her in time and time but yeah so like I mentioned, there's an ex Nikki around and you guys are gonna see her in time and everything, but it's just how it goes. Life gives you lemon, you make lemonade with it. And I made my lemonade and I'm drinking it. That's it, relationship-wise. Not too much, I don't wanna go too deep into stuff. Um, when I do feel like I need to vent, I'll probably just come on camera and vent and then just drop it out, whatever the case may be. Um, it's in the process of building a family and building a legacy. I like to be the first to, you know, tell you since this is an update video that there will be a new high roller added to the family. So you guys could look out for that in the near future. 
mashallah yeah with new addition to the family i do plan on doing a couple things different that i did in the past and you know moving forward still taking everything as it comes daily still growing still learning and all that good stuff what else should i touch on ezekiel is doing fine relationship came and gone relationship came business so i would like to say that i am very much into businesses i like business this is what i do this is what drives me working drives me working for myself drives me not for working for other people that part then and gone so with that being said i came back to guyana last year and i did the tour the whole behind the camera store and it went mm, it went you know it was an experience um a lot of things happened during that tour but it was successful at the end of the day and we did do what we set out to do in the end from that led us to opening a security forum because we're with a lot of celebrities and we're with a lot of artists and we are you know at a certain standard ourselves so we need protection at the end of the day i can't be walking around the world with all these cameras on my back and in my hand and nobody's with me protecting me so we have a security company now and you know i got my own personal line of bodyguard and, and all of that high rollers production which of course you guys know is the mother company it's still doing its thing music production videography photography we're branching and going into the clothing aspect of things more the fashion line that i'm always rocking the gears so you guys see me rocking the high rollers merch I got a high rollers logo right there. I got a life of a high roller. You already know, gang, gang. Um, I got big T my rollers on the back of the t-shirt. If you guys want it, you know, you go copy it. It's available. Um, we're doing our thing. The team is doing their thing. Nicholas, he's doing his thing. Daniel, he's doing his thing. Everybody just playing their part as it is right now and building. Everybody looking to build for the future. So we're here. We're working. You know, everybody grinding work wise like i mentioned we got a security company we got a music company i am a chef by heart so i am planning on doing a catering company in guyana um with other business partners and other friends also we're gonna team up and knock that out so you guys could look out for the catering aspect of things and like i said i want to document everything as i go through so you guys could look out for the catering company it's going to be established pretty soon just look out for everything all right so i might seem like i'm all over the place but i'm really not all over the place it's just as they come i'm expressing myself um depression let's talk about depression depression is not a very good thing and i know i'm not the first person to actually went through depression and there's a lot of people who actually go through depression and they trouble with a lot of anxieties and all that stuff it drives you wild like it literally drives you wild as far as i know from my experience it was not good but thank god i got through it with work that's how i dealt with my depression honestly i got through it with work and seeing my son from a day-to-day -day basis seeing him smile seeing him laugh all that helped me get through depression it's not good um every time i feel like i'm i'm going back into that zone i usually just log on and start editing whether it be pictures or videos or whatever i have backed up i just put myself in a whole creative workspace because like I said, that's how I deal, that's how, there's no handbook on how to deal with depression. And you guys know living in America and not seeing like your family every day and not doing the things you actually want to do in life or whatever the case may be. There's always something blocking your journey, there's always something blocking your path. So. For people who go through depression or went through depression or is going through depression 
find somebody to talk to, find a way to cope with it. Just make sure you come out in the end, seeing. Make sure you come out seeing in the end. Currently, we're actually dealing with the COVID-19, the whole coronavirus pandemic. So I urge everybody to stay home, stay inside, be safe, wash your hand, wash your foot, wash your face, the regular stuff. Stay clean, be it three times a day since you don't, don't waste the water. Crazy the way the whole COVID thing is taking over the world and everybody's in a crisis, everybody's in a state of emergency, kind of, sort of. So be safe. Make sure your family's safe, make sure your friends safe. Like I said, I'm stuck in Guyana, so Ezekiel Lem is over there. I'm over here, you know, not too much. Could be done at the moment. Um, as far as I know, the last I heard, planes is going to leave until May or June. Either. I can't remember exactly, but it's between May and June, which my time is up in Guyana. Or to be out of the US I should say my time is up in May so if the plane leaves May I have a chance or if the everything calms down in May I have a chance to go back home on time but if not then I pretty much have to call the embassy cuz I'll have to wait till June and then I'll be out of the country for more than six months which is actually not advised to be out of the country more than six months but then you know I didn't bring the COVID thing, so I can't really do anything about it at the end of the day. Just stay safe, make sure your family is good and all that. Take care everybody. Sanitize the place. Don't let nobody come over, especially in American places like Italy, China, and other places that have high cases and high death rates and all that. In Guyana, as of today, when I'm doing this video, we have 12 cases confirmed, um, two deaths about 30 something people in quarantine if i'm correct there's a couple people that came in on a charter flight from some other country i think barbados or whatever they have that that whole crew that came in in quarantine and then there was a plane that came in before with a lady who actually brought the covid virus to guyana she died her family is in quarantine as far as i know and so on nevertheless stay strong um much i say the most i could tell you is eat some fruits a lot of citrus just drink tea um lemon lemon tea garlic tea ginger tea whatever that's going to help you you know keep your immune system strong at the end of the day do that for everybody in the house moving on I'm not sure what the rest of the year look like when it comes to work due to everything that's happening but I do know pushing out content in this time is gonna be beneficial for all parties who create content due to the fact that everybody's home so there's gonna be the views is gonna skyrocket I guess this is why I'm actually starting back also because I know you know from the analyst part I know this everybody home and then when everybody go back out there should be work and events and you know things sketch back itself everything is all safe and well there's a lot of events that's gonna jump off and that's also beneficial for creators because now you could actually go out and football and cricket and basketball and all the events that I know have been cancelled most likely it's gonna be it's gonna pop back up or they're gonna be till next year on regular schedule nevertheless however it goes for creators it's beneficial my plan for the youtube the life of a high roller channel is to do videos every day no matter what no matter what my day is like whether it be me just staying inside editing i must do a video and put it out every single day i'll be vlogging starting april 1st which is today so you guys could look out for video from me every day and if i'm not keeping up to my word then y'all could check me hit hit me up on instagram hit me up on facebook like ask me like yo what's going on with that video you feel me and the 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 latest i'll try to get a video out is 12 o'clock midnight 
that's the latest. My video must be done and uploaded by 12 o'clock at midnight. That's what I'm gonna try to do every day. I got a couple apps on my phone that helps me edit faster. I'll make use of them. I got a, the system. I'll make use of that. And you know I'm always editing or doing something. So I'll just you know be more proactive when it comes to the vlog channel. Um, for those of you guys who've been here, the 300 something of you, appreciate you guys for sticking around and waiting for nothing. But here I am. And I'm gonna continue pushing for whoever is new. Welcome to the channel life of a high roller team. My rollers, it's a big platform, it's a big family. Look out for everybody that you're gonna meet throughout the journey. Since I'm in Guyana, I'm gonna put a lot of people on. And when I leave, whoever I'm around, then you're gonna see all of that. So, like I said, it's just about creating, staying in the right mind, you know, being myself at the end of the day. Because I was worried in the past, like, should I say certain things like should I say certain things or should I put certain people on the camera and certain events and all that but at the end of the day if I'm not actually documenting and sticking to the goal then what am I really doing you feel me so I'm gonna keep up to that even if I gotta get a, a cameraman to follow me around that's it because I do a lot of music videos now this year is a full production year Went well, it's supposed to be a full production year. We did a couple good production since the year start until this COVID thing come around. We did a couple videos throughout, and right now I'm inside for the most part. I'm inside, I don't plan on going outside anytime soon. This is the farthest I'm outside. Walk back and forth in my yard. Inside, man, aside from that, I'm actually building a house. A house slash office space where I could run all these businesses and so on and speaking about house I have the contractor coming in right now and he's gonna give me the estimate for the foundation and so on so I could move forward building so like I said I'm vlogging so I'm gonna catch all that life of I roll the thing you have no team I rollers catch you back in a minute the marking right here um, from somewhere where that point is to here is 30 feet we got a pole, a little pole right there. From here, mm -hmm. go back to where I was standing is 30 feet. So I was actually looking to come within this space because you got to leave a couple feet from the fence and so on. I really want to leave too much, so I try to maximize as much as I can. Yeah. I think they got like two. Now he ain't, he ain't really need much space leave but then I drive it as much as I could I can use it yeah but then I can build a fence they ain't really need for nobody walking around on the side I mean if somebody do plan on walking you could still pass but I just know you have to leave a couple mm. a couple feet so I left that. But within the perimeter to the perimeter, I'm looking for a drop the container. So I need um the estimate for the foundation. That's the main thing right now, so I can know how much you're looking at. Yeah. I turn it. Work in progress, guys. That's 30, 30 right? 31.4. Alright. You can do 31 by 21. Because um, one of them containers does go 20 by 10, right? Mm -hmm. Or 8. 8, 8, 8, 8, eight high. And the width? I believe it's 8 in width. 8 in width? Yeah. And 8 in height. Well. That's good enough space. So, so much the length? The length is 20, I use 20. Yeah, 20. Yeah. So you can get between the, when you drop the container, you get a half foot, half foot space left back. Mm -hmm. Are we book for you or are you good with it? I'm good Alright. Mm -hmm. Mm 
is running within the containers. So the second floor is going to be half living room and half um, music and photography and video production, oh. which are going to be built like bedrooms and so on. But I got the floor plan here. Hold on. All right. So sorry for disturbing that little um, update, but the contractor just came in. He's going to do up the estimate for me so I could start building in the back. I'm going to show you guys what's going to happen, what's going to be happening in the back. For right now, like I said, everything is raw. So I'm gonna show you what's going on. So within this whole space, this whole space is gonna be office and house. It's gonna be higher than that, which is actually a three-story apartment building. It's gonna be super higher than that. And we're gonna move forward. You feel me? This is my piece of land and this is what I'm working with. So bringing it to you yeah i might not be able to show you guys the whole building process because you know due to the fact that i gotta go back to the u.s and i can't really stay in guyana but nicholas will be here daniel will be here my sister will be here so they'll be videoing and sending me on so i could add it in the vlogs and move forward but you guys are gonna see the ideas that's in my head i'm gonna put it bring it to life and the contractor is going to help me with that process. Team is going to help me with that process. Life of Irona. Put all faith in God. Put all trust in God. Believe that once you put forward the right foot with all positivity, that is going to come back and it's going to bless you at the end of the day. And that's what I'm doing. So, yeah, that's what I got to work with. This is Life of a High Roller. I don't know what else to say. Oh, I don't know what else to say. So, you already know Team Rollers, Life of Roller. Go follow my main channel, Martin Alamin. I post music almost every day. I'm going to start posting every day also. So go follow that channel, Martin Alamin. Go subscribe, like, comment, share, all that. Let people hear the good music. Shout out to Militant. Militant is a soak artist from Trinidad and Tobago. And we're going to be taking over once again. Well, he's going to be taking over once again with the high rollers team and we're gonna be doing some good shows when all this blow over you already know hot and groovy in the soccer party yes i'm gonna leave a link to his music in the description you guys could go follow him on spotify itunes amazon all of that go stream the music go download the music or purchase the music show some love you love soca repose a line or two from any one of militant song tag militant the artist on instagram facebook twitter tag militant and i'll make sure he reposts you guys whether it be singing whatever the case may be tag him anything to do with his music and we're gonna repost it you already know team arrows life of viral one love one dream one team we out so all in all no matter what's happening in the world make sure you guys laugh and have some fun make sure you stay you know mentally hydrated happy april fools to you all